Right, we're going to look at skin wrap now as a way of making clothes work. Uh, there are three types of clothes on this character. The first is the boot, which is modelled in situ, which is probably the easiest kind of clothing to deal with. The second is the gloves and the bodice, which are tight fitting, uh, which is where we're going to use skin wrap. And the third is the skirt, which is going to be based on cloth and will be the subject of a VTM later in the series. So let's look at the glove first. We want the glove to obviously move with the arm and we don't want to go through the process of skinning the glove. So we're going to use a skin wrap modifier and we can just put it straight on top of the smooth, the turbo smooth. In fact, it's better to have it in that position. Skin wrap is designed to skin a high poly character onto a low poly proxy character. So it works quite well with high numbers of vertices. So have it on top of your turbo smooth, but do have the turbo smooth settings and iterations set to your final value. So I've got a smooth on the body as well here. Have, have them all set to the final value to ensure that skin wrap stays stable. It will cope with changes in number of iterations, but sometimes it produces weird results. And well, worst case is you need to reapply the skin wrap modifier again, and it's quite easy to do. So I'm going to choose Add in the Skin Wrap modifier and click on the main vampire mesh to drive the mesh. And then down here you have two choices. The default is Vertex Deformation, uh, but I actually prefer Face Deformation as it's a bit more stable and it takes into account uh, Skin Morphs a bit better on and Changes of Iteration is a bit more stable with Face Deformation as well. Once you've applied the modifier, then it should just be a case that it works. And you can see it works quite well there on the elbow, and it certainly follows the character quite well. Uh, you do need to have sensible geometry on your glove, for example, around the end here at the wrist bend. You can see I've got cuts going across to allow it to bend there. And also I've got cuts, more cuts around the elbow region of the glove to allow it to bend uh, better at that point quick case of applying one to the other side as well and we'll put on the animation for the other side and you can see how easy this is to set up and we now have working gloves right we're going to apply a skin wrap to the bodice but in a subtly different way in that we're going to convert it into a skin modifier and the reason we're doing that is because of this frill around here, which won't react properly with just skin wrap, because skin wrap is designed for tight-fitting objects. So first things first, because I'm going to convert this into a skin modifier, I'm actually going to delete the turbo smooth on the top, so that the skin modifier will be a low-poly skin modifier, and you won't have to go around modifying the envelopes and changing everything in too much detail, and then I'll apply a turbo smooth again afterwards. So we put on skin wrap. Uh, add in the main mesh and make sure that it works OK. And that seems to work quite well. Now, it's very easy. There's a convert to skin button, but before we can press it, we need to consider what's actually happening. The convert to skin button is going to take all the vertex weightings from the control mesh here and effectively paste them onto the bodice. So in other words, the bodice will inherit skinning from the main mesh. The reason we need to know that is because the main mesh at the moment has two modifiers above the skin modifier. We've got a mesh smooth and a skin morph. And neither of those are actually compatible. So anything that the skin morph in particular affects at the moment uh, will not be translated through into the skinning modifier. So before we do the convert, we've got to turn off the mesh smooth and the skin morph at the top of the stack on the main control mesh to bring us down to the skin. Then what it will be able to do is take all the information directly from this mesh uh, and apply it to this mesh. And then once it is a skin modifier, I can reapply these. So click on the bodice, uh, click the convert to skin, and you'll see now it applies a skin modifier to the top of the stack and it turns off the skin wrap. You could delete it if you want, but I would recommend leaving it on there so you can redo this again later if you need to. So now within the skin modifier, if I just uh, animate this, it's still working as you can see. Within the skin modifier, I can now go to my uh, weight dialog uh, and I can just make the 
frill around here react a bit more normally. So what I'm going to do as a starting point is I'm going to take one of these vertices around here. I'm just going to copy the weighting value from that. And then I'm going to do a ring of vertices around. Uh, and I'm going to paste that weighting onto the frill. So the whole frill now is weighted the same, which means it should move as one object. Now if I rotate it, you can see it does move as one object, but obviously it's not got quite the right weighting because it goes into the body. So actually what I'm going to do is just increase the weighting towards the pelvis to bring that back up a bit. Uh, and you can modify the skin in the normal way until you get a, a value that you're happy with and I'm fairly happy with that. So now the skin modifier is ready. Let's just put a turbo smooth back on top. Uh, and then we're going to go back to our main mesh and we're going to reactivate the skin morph and the mesh smooth on top of that. And then I'm going... Oh, that's good, isn't it? Look at that. That's an example of what can happen to the skin wrap modifier when you change the number of iterations of the control mesh underneath. So I will just delete the skin wrap. And uh, concentrating on the bodice at the moment, though, you can see that that's working quite nicely around the frill. One thing that won't work, though, now is the, the skin morph that makes the tummy go in and out will have no effect on the bodice mesh because the bodice mesh has only inherited skinning and not the skin morphs. So now the next phase is just to apply a skin morph to the bodice just to make sure that that tummy doesn't stick out when she bends forwards. And that, in a nutshell, is the skin wrap modifier.